Hey, what's up everyone? Mjoy here. I have not come out with a video in a while, so I am backlogged with awesome books to share with you um, what I've read. And so another book that I read in 2020 and I continue to read uh, in 2020, it's not done yet, so I'm still trying to complete like three books right now um, and getting a lot out of that. But one that I did finish this year is called The Power of Positive Thinking by Dr. Oh crap. <laughs> Norman Vincent Peale. So back in the day, sort of like an old school um, self-help book, I will say if you're comfortable and open slash already practicing Christianity and you're used to talking about that and really leaning on Christianity to you know be a source of hope and, and help and love in your life, then and if you're not, but you're comfortable with it, um, and just reading about it, then this book will work for you. Um, it's a Bible-sized book that says to read the Bible. <laughs> but um, it's also a doctor's account of working with a ton of people um, and real stories from folks. And, you know, it's very old school, so there's a lot, a lot of gendered language and stuff like that. Um, and sort of antique, antiquated ideas. But even still with that, because of like where this guy's coming from, the author, there's a lot of things that still land. There's a lot of things that are still universal and valuable for, you know, mindset building today. So, um, you know, I think that uh, prioritizing, for me personally, prioritizing uh, positivity, which means feeling my feelings, even when they're difficult, going through that, letting myself process those feelings so I can come back into positivity in this genuine, natural way. Um, that's really one of the things that is just reinforced in this book as well. Um, and one of the main takeaways that I got from it was as a cold caller, right? And not only in my day-to-day -day job, but really I realized in many things that I do in my life, just personal, professional, um, and extracurricular, it all really requires, and I'd say spiritual too, it all really requires cold calls sometimes. Like when I call friends, you know, they're not necessarily expecting a call from me, so it's a cold call. So um, when, I, when I'm working and calling prospects and everything um, to pray for them, and I do pray, I, I am comfortable with prayer, it is one of my practices, even though I'm not religious, um, belonging to any kind of religious sect, I have a relationship with a higher power of my understanding and I work that relationship. So um, yeah, that was a really cool takeaway that I got from it. And when I'm on my game, I actually remember to do that, right? Um, and then another couple things here, to replace negative self-talk, anything that you care about, that you wanna do, that you wanna pursue, that's, and, and you get that self-doubt, you know, message of like, nah, I, I can't do that. To just see it, notice it, pause, and then replace I can't with I can. So, you know, this is sort of one of those books that in the self-help world, um, it it's a classic. Um, and again, very Christian heavy. So if you can, if that's not your thing, but you can read it and, and take what you like and leave the rest, then I would definitely recommend that. Absolutely. Um, Last interesting thing, he, he knows his stuff. He knows like his, his Christian history. He actually points out how Christianity is actually an Eastern religion and how meditation is absolutely uh, encouraged in, in the Bible. Um, and I feel like sometimes I have felt like there's like this separation of Eastern, Western idea and meditation is for folks from over there and you know, um, or it's new age or whatever, but you know, I loved his perspective and interpretation of the Bible, which is like, no, meditation is super important, uh, super a part of Christianity. Um, so I just thought that was really interesting because I had never heard that before. So that is the review for today. And if any of that resonates with you and you want to learn more, I check out that book, abooks.com. They're used local stores. Local bookstore supporters, A Books instead of Amazon is just my own personal 
uh, testimony there, abebooks.com. Um, but yeah, keep reading y'all, keep learning, keep loving. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.